Coach, Ooh. pretty good. All righty. Well, how are you? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Uh, good practice. Good practice. Weather was good. Guys flew around today. Energy was good. Um, it's good to see our team continue to develop and uh, take steps forward. Yeah. Good day today. What do you remember about the game against UTEP last year? Or was it is it a blur? Five over two. <coughs> no, it wasn't a blur. Uh, I remember it distinctly. And uh, you know, the interesting thing they had as a team had not done uh, was not at the top of our conference. I'm sorry, was not at the top of our conference. So people didn't view them as being a a, a competitive game for us. Uh, we were on a little roll, had won a couple of games. Uh, and we respected that team when they came in and uh, and had a never say die spirit and they played their behinds off against us and went into five overtimes and took victory away from this team uh, at home. And so uh, we'd like to go out and play our very best this week and, uh, and compete in their home and uh, do things that are necessary to give us a chance to win this game. Hopefully not five overtimes. Uh, whatever it takes. In regulation, one point, ten points, two, three, four, five, or whatever, whatever it takes. Have you ever been involved in anything like that? A five? No, that was never before. Um, double overtime probably was the most. I've never been beyond two. What do you remember about their quarterback, Coach? Uh, I remember more distinctly their tight end that just kept going down the field on us and uh, had nightmares about this guy. Uh, he was he was really a good player. Aaron Jones, their tailback, was a really good player. Uh, till the quarterback did a good job, but the uh, the tight end posed all type of problems for us as well as their tailback. Any what, noticeable differences between what Sean did and now what Mike is doing now? Yeah, um, yeah, he's got a little reservations. Of, you know, let them do what they do. But yeah, there, there, there's some subtle differences in what they do and uh, but the core of who they are and their identity that's built around a massive offensive line is still. Uh, at the end of the day is, is what they want to do, run behind that offensive line. Looking at this UTEP series, historically, the home <laughs> team has never won yeah. a game. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Uh, I thought that was um, a folklore when I heard it last year. And, well, it's not going to happen this year. And it came to fruition. So hopefully we can keep that trend going. Yeah. Frank, I don't see Josiah at practice this morning. Can yeah. you update it? His status? Uh, He's still uh, being evaluated. Um, was at meetings and all today, uh, doing rehab and therapeutic things to get himself ready to play if, uh, if possible. So we're hopeful that he'll be able to play, uh, but getting extra treatment and the things necessary. Did I see, uh, in addition to all the other things he did Saturday, Marcus out in pass coverage a couple of times? Uh, um, maybe in a flat. Uh, yeah, and this is yeah. in the flat. Oh, he had, we had a blitz call. He was the bill, the pill guy, and the, the back came out of the backfield. He had to go with the wheel route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, yeah, he was in that coverage. He not that. Yeah, he was in. He was in good phase. Made a play on the ball. Um, a pass breakup for him. Yeah. See, I, I don't know if we had that in the stats. Y'all got that in the stats? <laughs> then, he, then he had a sack. Then he had a sack on the next play. That's right. Did he get a hurry on that touchdown? He and he got a hurry on the touchdown. I think that was more than a hurry. It was like a panic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what, what about the, you know going into sorry. this game? You, you had you know, so many, like you were telling us uh, Monday, uh, so many guys in and out of the, the lineup on the line. Some other guys go out. What is it like now? I mean, here you are. You're going to the meat of the conference schedule, and you, you got to rely on a lot of your uh, a lot of your depth that's going to come into play here. I guess this, this week. Yeah, I think that's universal, though. I think most teams this time of the year are uh, going through the same things we're going through, but not much different. Uh, but we'll be prepared for it. We'll be fine. Talking about Marcus a minute again, uh, he seems to have, a, in addition to everything, a, a good work ethic. He mm -hmm. seems to really take, like, this is my senior year. I'm going to go out, give it 100%, not that he hadn't before. You see him on pregame warm-ups, you know, going through drills. He, he's that way in pre-practice. He's just finished hitting the big bags just now in post-practice. Uh, he's, he's really working his craft to try to be the best player that he can be, and it's it's showing uh, on game day, in practice and on game day. All this talk about pros and draft doesn't seem to be a distraction. Man. Uh, well, we don't have those conversations. That, that'll take care of itself. <laughs> if he's productive here, that'll fall in line. So to have that premature conversation 
would dilute what he's trying to accomplish right now. And what he accomplishes now will then open the, the, that opportunity down the line. So what's most important is him being the best collegiate player he can be, team player that he can be right now, and he recognizes that. And then off the field, he's nominated for some yeah. senior class award. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been phenomenal uh, within on campus. He's been phenomenal within the community, just doing everything that you would desire in your student athlete. Coach, is uh, Kerry Thomas and Stephon Beard, are they available this week? Oh, yes, they will be available. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Coach.